Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. For the longest time I would always take my car in to be detailed and what I learned is not only is that really expensive, I never felt like they were doing a fully thorough job. Now that I do it myself, it is not that hard or time consuming and it saves hundreds and hundreds of dollars a year. So I had to do a full detail and I figured I might as well just film the process and share with you guys how I like to clean my car step by step. And also at the end, I'm even going to show you how I have my car organized. So if you do enjoy this video, please subscribe to my channel. I do home and lifestyle related videos like the one you're watching right now. And with all of that said, let's just go ahead and get started. So assessing the situation in my car, you can see it is not pretty in here. There is just stuff everywhere. I have a toddler, there's junk, there's trash. So step number one is to empty everything out of the car. And the way I like to do this is into three groups. Group one is trash, which of course I just throw away in the trash. Group number two are things that I want to move inside. And group number three in this basket are things that I want to keep in the car and put back. Up next are the car windows. Now this is extremely important because visibility is key when you are driving for safety. So you want to have your windows crystal clean. One little pro tip I like to use is this scraper tool. It is a soft plastic so it will not scratch your glass. To clean my windows, I'm using a DIY glass cleaner. I will put the recipe down in the description box. And you want to fold your microfiber cloth into quarters and spray your glass cleaner directly onto the cloth. So you wanna start at the top and do horizontal wipes left and right, left and right. Then you wanna turn your cloth over, take the clean side of your cloth. You want to then go up and down in a vertical motion along the glass. And what this is going to do is remove any leftover residue, streaks, dirt, so it is crystal shiny clear. So now for cleaning our interior car surfaces, I use this interior detailer cleaner. I find this from Amazon. And what I like about this is that it works on various different surfaces in your car. So vinyl, plastics, leather, rubber, metal, and LCD navigation screens. So it's really easy. Just one product that cleans so many different surfaces. So in my opinion, the hardest part about cleaning out your car is all of the cracks and crevices everywhere in between the buttons, little grooves. So my number one go-to is the toothbrush. You want a soft bristle toothbrush. I have since switched to all bamboo. So you spray your cleaner directly on the brush and then you can get in here in between the grooves and brush a lot of the dust out. Next are these foam paint brushes and I like to use these to clean out the air vents. They fit nice and easily within the vents. They collect the dust really well. Okay, so this one is definitely the most fun and also very effective. So this is a universal dust cleaner that is like a slime. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And what you do is you just put it on your electronics like this, and it will collect all of the dust. The best part about this is that it is so malleable. It will conform into any shape or little divot that it needs to. All right, now we are ready to clean the car interior. Starting on the driver's side, I spray the cleaner onto the microfiber cloth, not directly onto the car. That will just keep everything nice and safe. So I'm doing the dash and then I'm taking my foam brush and getting in the air vents. Then the gear shift area and all the little buttons and grooves down here with my microfiber cloth and toothbrush. I'm also getting the pedals. This is something easy to forget, but when you think about it, these are really dirty, so it's worth cleaning these off as well. Next, I'm moving on to the driver's side seat. I'm starting on the bottom and getting all of the buttons down here and then cleaning the seat itself using the toothbrush to flick the dirt and dust that's between all of the grooves and cracks. And I'm flicking that onto the floor because we will come back and vacuum the floors later. Then moving on to the passenger side, I'm getting the door here, starting from the top and working my way down, getting the handles, all the buttons and grooves down here. I have to say it is so convenient using the same cleaner for the entire car interior. I used to have to switch between like three or four different cleaners. This works on everything, so I really like it. Now onto the back seat. This is where things get really messy. Just starting by wiping everything down and then getting in there with the toothbrush and getting all of the crumbs that is wedged way down into the cracks of the seat. And the toothbrush can really get far in there and get 
everything out. Then I also make sure to get the back side of the passenger seat. This is easy to forget. Using the same technique with the toothbrush, I'm getting all of the crumbs from the driver's side back seat, flicking those onto the floor and then cleaning the seat area as well. Then I'm wiping down this last door here on the back driver's side. And moving on to the trunk, I'm cleaning the back of the seats in the trunk and also getting this interior groove. There's a lot of caked on dirt here for moving the stroller in and out. Next are the seat belts. This is something easy to forget, but when you think about it, you're touching these with your hands constantly, so it's good to clean them. I'm using a solution of warm water with a couple pumps of Dawn dish liquid. I'm pulling the seat belts all the way out and then I'm spraying it with that solution. Then I'm taking my brush and brushing that solution into the seat belt to get it fully clean and remove any stains. And I'm going with the grain of the seat belt, so I'm going in up and downward motions. Then I am taking a microfiber cloth and I am drying the seatbelt as much as I can and then allowing it to air dry for 24 hours. This is really important before you reel it back in to let it dry so there's no mildew that forms. Now I am cleaning my all weather floor mats. I really recommend that you get these in your car. It will make your life so much easier. I am just spraying these off with a hose and then scrubbing them with a brush to clean up all the dirt. I spray them off one more time and allow them to air dry in the grass. Now moving on to Carter's car seat. Oh my goodness, this thing had so many crumbs in here. So I started by vacuuming the crumbs as best as I could with my Dyson and then cleaning all of the surface areas on here like the handles, seat belts, and this little cup holder. I washed and put back the interior inserts here so those are nice and clean and his car seat looks not good as new but a lot better than it did before. Now moving on to the vacuuming with my Dyson. I have the brush attachment and the long hose attachment which I use just to get all of the crumbs from the floor here. It's actually pretty hard to do. At some point while I was filming this my camera cut off but I did vacuum the floors of the full car interior including the trunk. By the time I was finished vacuuming, the floor mats were dry, so I replaced those back into the car and into the trunk area. It is just such a good feeling to have a clean car. I feel like it's a brand new car again. So now I'm gonna give a little tour of my car and how I have it all organized. So first thing I wanna point out, a really easy DIY air freshener that is not synthetic because I cannot handle synthetic smells is just taking a clothespin, gluing on a little pom-pom. So then onto that, you want to put a few drops of your favorite essential oil or blend. You guys know I have my own essential oil company, so I love my oils more than just about anyone. I don't recommend keeping your oils in your car. I keep mine in my purse. So I just put about four or five drops of my essential oil on the little pom-pom, and then when I turn the air on, the air conditioning is going to blow the air and that's going to distribute the scent throughout the car. All right, so next thing I wanna point out is my steering wheel cover. Now, this I received as a gift from my mom. It's a little bit extra. You can see it has the crystals on it. I don't know where she got it from, but I'll ask and I will link it below. But regardless of what steering wheel cover you have, I recommend you have one because this just keeps it nice and protected and clean. Also, it gives it a better grip. Now right here is this little organizer I found on Amazon that goes right in the crack. This is like the abyss of your car. Things fall in there, they're never seen again. If anything falls down, it will get collected. I keep my little park pass right here. Next up in the cup holders, I put these silicone cupcake liners and these just help protect it from spills and gunk. In my center console, I keep a bunch of reusable bags. I really love these Chico bags because they fold into themselves and it's always good to have these in the car. So if you ever stop off at a store, you have your bags with you. Now this hook is one of my favorite things in my car. It's so convenient because I hang my purse on it. So when I'm driving, my purse doesn't go flying all around. You could also hang your grocery bags or anything else you have on here. Okay, so now in the backseat area, a very special new addition is this car seat protector. I don't know why I didn't have this earlier. I needed it because there's already damage to my seat from where the car seat was pressing against it. This also protects from his little feet kicking the back of the seat, keeping it nice and clean. So now down here on the floor space, these are my favorite items in this car. First is this thing which is called the garbage. 
It is a special car garbage can. It actually clips onto the floor mat so it doesn't move. I don't keep a bag in here just because I'm trying to use less plastic bags, but you can put a bag liner in here if you want. It's just easy for me to reach back and throw any trash away. Down here is my favorite car organizer. All moms in particular, you need this in your back seat. This is dead space that now is nice and organized. So I have some extra shoes here, hand sanitizer, his hair gel, baby sunscreen, and then he has some toys, books, wipes. There used to be a bunch of snacks back there too, but I'm trying to have a no snack policy in here if I can, just to prevent mess and crumbs. And for trunk organization, I'm a little bit limited because I have a giant stroller in here at all times. So on this back wall, I have this little pocket organizer where I just keep a first aid kit, some extra jackets in case we're out and we get cold, my hat and some extra wipes. Usually I also have an umbrella in the back. I don't know where it went. All right guys, so that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. If for no other reason than the fact that I filmed this in the blazing heat and I almost passed out like two or three times, don't recommend cleaning your car on a hot day. Really dumb, don't do it. Let me know in the comments if you have any car cleaning tips that you wanna share, I would love to read them. And with all that said, thank you guys as always so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.